Okay, is our audio working now? Should be working. Let me know if you can hear me. Should be able to uh, get the audio working here just in a second. Okay, audio is working, good. Okay, so hello and welcome. Um, welcome to our training. Today we're, what we're gonna do is we're gonna break down the model of affiliate marketing and show you how this works. So it's gonna be chilled out, we're gonna hang out, we're gonna get some questions from you guys, uh, we're gonna give you some answers and everything like that. Now at the bottom of the screen, you're gonna notice there's a little banner that says, are you all in affiliate marketing dude, profit2018.com. Now the reason that's there is because on New Year's, we are launching a brand new training program. What the training program is designed to do is take you out of the realm of information overload and out of the realm of struggling to make a profit online and literally chunk everything down for you and give you a breakdown on how everything works. Okay, so we're going to make it very, very basic. We're going to make it very easy. We're going to give you the tools that you need. So if you're interested in that course, it is going to be a little bit more pricey than my other courses because it's going to be more in depth. All right. So if you're looking for one on one time, you're like, Marcus, I want to be able to talk to you. I want to be able to look over your shoulder. I want you to take me by the hand and show me everything. Then this is the program for you. Now, we're also going to include some high ticket niches in that program as well to get you guys to, um, you know, have something to start with and something to grow with. So today what we're going to do is we are going to go ahead and right up here let's see i think we need a better pen just got our new board so hopefully it works good for us all right all right profit 2018 now how many of you guys have been struggling to profit online you say marcus i've been looking into this affiliate marketing stuff for you know, quite some time I've been trying to do this. Maybe I've set up some websites. Maybe I've done some things that have worked. Maybe I've done some things that haven't worked. Whatever it is, type that in the box and let me know where you're at so we can help you out. Okay, and we're gonna talk about some of the things that worked in 2017. We're gonna talk about some of the things that are working now, some of the things that have made me the most in 2017 as well so that you guys can break it down and, and make it work for you, okay? Cool, okay. So Renee says she's brand new. Shelly says she's struggling. Ed says he's been trying this stuff. All right, who else we got here? We got quite a few people on, so feel free to be active. Uh, you guys kind of help me so that we can, um, we can get you guys everything that you need. Okay, so Florida says six months in with Amazon affiliate and have not made $100 yet. Well, don't worry, Florida boy. Um, fellow Florida boy, we're here too. Uh, we actually have fog today. What, what's up with that, right? So uh, don't worry, you're not alone. A lot of people are there. A lot of people struggle with this stuff. That's why we're here, right? I'm here to help you get past info overload, get past struggling, and actually learn how to get the checks into your pocket or the drafts or the PayPal's or whatever you want to call it. All right. So, um, Mike says he's been struggling. He's got about two sites, been, been at it about a month. Okay. Uh, nonchalant said he's been building many websites, but not affiliate websites. He needs a guide how to do it. Uh, ECW says he's dealing with paralysis by analysis. All right. John says define struggling, not where you want to be. Okay. If you're not where you want to be, you're probably struggling. Okay. Unless you have a plan. Okay. Six months in, he's made 35 bucks. Started at Amazon, made $10 a month. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, I can't make more than 1,000 euros a month. I'm struggling. I made $10 my first day and then not. Okay, nothing has W. Not sure what that means. At least you made something. Yeah, so, okay, cool. And Eddie says his, his tech blog's not going well. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna redefine the way this works and we're gonna map it out for you so that you understand. Okay, the idea here, and I'll get a different color. Luckily, we got these new colors that show up a lot better than the old whiteboard. So let's see here. Okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do what's known as chunk down. Okay, what that means is when you have something that you are trying to do or something you're trying to learn, what we do is we are able to chunk down, which means get it into smaller pieces. Okay, so like, let's, let's say you're gonna ride a bike. Okay, if I was gonna teach you how to ride a bike, well, 
for one thing, the best way to teach someone to ride a bike is just to get on and go, okay? Obviously, don't do it around like cars and stuff. Get a safe place. But the best way to do it is to learn and, and just go as you learn, right? Reading a book and stuff might help, but nothing comes better than actually doing something. Okay, now internet marketing is a little bit different because you have to understand things, right? If you didn't understand the concept of going or motion, I couldn't teach you to ride a bike no matter what, right? I just have to like show you without words because you don't understand the concept or I'd have to help you get the understanding of the concept by showing you what motion is, how bikes work and things like that. So what we're gonna do with affiliate marketing is we're gonna chunk down and we're gonna take each little piece and break it up for you so that you understand where you need to be, okay? So let's see what else we have here. Okay, cool. So someone's making about 200 bucks a month. His site's about eight months old. Okay, so we're gonna talk about how to get this in the real world, how to get the results that you want by chunking down. Now, is the white better than the uh, blue there or should we use a different color? I got some other colors here. And hopefully, if you guys like the new um, blackboard, let me know. It's good because we can actually erase and everything like that. So pretty cool. Okay. And let me know what colors work best for you. I'll try to keep you guys in the loop. All right. Okay, cool. Okay, white works better. Excellent. Okay, cool. We're trying to get the glare dialed in. One of our lights went out, but that's all right. Stuff happens, right? Okay, so let's take a look here. All right, so let's take a look at some of the things that make money online. So what we want to do is we want to look over here and we want to put our money. Okay, this is like the goal that you want to get to, the map. This is where everyone wants to be in 2018, right? How many of you guys want to finally cut the fluff and actually start making money in 2018, right? You want to be over here. And we'll, we'll draw a bunch of people over here because I'm sure that's where you guys want to be, okay? And whatever that looks like for you. Some people might want to make $30,000 a year. Some people might want to make 100000 a year. Some people might want to make more than that, okay? But either way, you want to be over there, okay? Okay, Florida says he wants to make money in 2018. Nonchalant wants to. Um, John says he wants to. Yellow, a bunch of people say that they want to, okay? And like HTML says he wants to cut the fluff and make money. Okay, really, really, really cool, okay? Yes, the new Blackboard is glary, but we're working with it. Um, so hopefully you guys can see on here. Okay, so let's talk about what it takes to get here, okay? What does it take for you to make profit online, okay? Well, there's several things you can do, okay? One thing could be a sale, okay? This is obvious. If you're an Amazon affiliate, you gotta sell stuff, right? How many of you guys are like, yeah, that's, that's no brainer, right? I, I need to sell stuff, okay? And Brian and Kim said, they need about 350 bucks a day. Okay, we'll put that up there as a, as a goal. And if you guys have other goals, uh, you can put that up there as well. And we'll talk about how to get there, okay? Okay, and John says he's trying to find different ways to make money other than what he's doing. Okay, so here's some things to do. Someone else needs 100 a day. This will be our $100 a day guy, All right? Um, excellent. Okay. Cool. So now one of the ways you can make money is obviously by selling something. If you are an Amazon affiliate, Amazon gives you a link. It's a special link. It's coded. It means, hey, this traffic came from Marcus or Bob or whoever the affiliate is. Now, when you send someone to that link and they purchase something, even if it's not the product that you originally wanted to sell, right, you still get credit which is pretty cool because, hey, check it out. I get credit, even though it wasn't the product that um, I was originally trying to sell. Okay, some people say, oh, well, I'd be happy with 500 a day. Okay, some people make 500 a day or want to make 500 a day. Okay, we're gonna break this down and show you how it works, whether it's 100, 500, 300, whatever, okay? So let's take a look. So we obviously know sales work, okay? There's places like uh, Commission Junction, tons of stuff on sale. They manage the affiliate program. 
They got thousands of affiliate offers from, you know, uh, hosting to uh, software tools to fonts. Believe it or not, I actually had a site. And one of the funniest things, I, I didn't know we could sell fonts. I was giving away a toolbar. But I actually found out on Commission Junction, I made like $600 in sales for fonts from one guy, right? One guy bought like 600 bucks worth of fonts. Now, to me and you, we might be like, well, that's crazy. Windows comes with free fonts. We can get free fonts online. But for some reason, some people like to buy specialty fonts and uh, that works really cool. Okay, does that, does that make sense to everyone? So when you're dealing with sales, you could go to places like ClickBank. Okay, ClickBank's a very popular one. Uh, you have Commission Junction or CJ. Okay, you have things like share a sale. Okay, you have things like Amazon. Okay, uh, link share. Okay, and tons of others. There's there's tons of places where you could get paid per sale. There's also private places you could get sell. Like if you were to sell one of my products or courses, that would be a private affiliate offer. You're getting paid by me directly. ClickBank, you get paid by ClickBank and uh, they have all the products for all the other people. Commission Junction, you get paid by Commission Junction. You have all the products. Now the goal is to find the product that meets your market best. Okay, so the first thing we want to do when we're chunking down affiliate marketing is we want to look at our market or niche okay market and niche we're gonna use interchangeably okay so market and niche are like the same thing okay so what we want to do let's say that, that we have all these people who want to know how to cook a ham or they want to know how to take the best pictures or they want to know how to um, download audio from sites so that they can listen to it on their mp3 player which I do all the time which is actually one of the things that we're gonna set up live um, in one of our training courses in the Profit 2018. So I'm gonna show you how I do that one live. So it's really cool, okay? Now on that example, let's say I had a site and this site was for, um, let's say, okay, what was the guy? I started listening to these tapes by Anthony DeMello or something like that. Really cool guy, interesting stuff. He's like this uh, Jesuit priest slash Buddhist teaching guy. I, I don't know exactly, I just got into it. But let's say I have a site and it's all about like um, Anthony mellow or whatever okay and all i do is I, I list all the favorite talks that i like from him and i talk about him and i have a blog about all his stuff and how it's helped me right does that make sense to everyone has everyone come across a blog that's about something like that maybe it's about a person maybe it's about a style of cooking maybe it's about um a different lifestyle maybe it's about like tiny houses or big houses or real estate or whatever a blog about something okay um Yellow says he's read Anthony DeMello. Good, so this will make sense to you. Okay, so now if we were to look at this, we would go into the Google AdWords tool and we'd say, well, how many people look up Anthony DeMello? Okay, well, good. There's like thousands of people every month. We would build our site about it. And then of course, we would go and find things. Now in a perfect, wonderful world, there would be something where I could say, download all of Anthony's stuff free and maybe Anthony would pay me 10 bucks. Okay, that would be the most perfect thing ever, right? How many of you guys were like, yeah, if that was available, of course I'd make money because they're looking for the thing and I get paid and I don't have to sell anything and it's free. Okay, if that sounds perfect, type perfect in the box. Okay. How many of you guys say that sounds perfect? Right, so, so let me break it down for you. We got all these people, okay? They're looking up Anthony DeMello audio, okay? They want his audio, they want to listen to it. Like me, I, every night, ever since I got sober, I listen to a talk every night before bed, okay? That's my ritual, I do it every night. Whether it's something about, uh, um, you know, Anthony DeMello, whether it's, um, you know, uh, Alan Watts or Ram Dass or whoever it is. I like these talks and they help me. Okay, that would be perfect, right? It's like, good, so here's all these people that want this. Oh, that's a snowman. I, I drew two heads, so we're going to have a snowman in there. We'll just put a little Christmas cap on him. Okay, so all these people, what is their result? What do they want, right? They want the music file or the, the 
tape. Okay, that's what they want. They want to download this guy's tape. So now I look at that and I say, good, all these people want to download the tape. Now I go into my stuff and I say, well, is there anything I can offer? Is there that perfect, perfect program where that has his specific tapes? Well, no, there's not. Okay, there's not. It's not that easy. Sometimes it is with recipes and um, the toolbars and things like that. Sometimes it is. That's what I call a perfect direct hit offer. Okay, now sometimes you're going to go for a perfect offer. Perfect. Okay, so a perfect in this example would be download his stuff. Okay, a next one would be a really close offer. Okay, a really close offer might be, well, maybe, maybe they charge for his tapes and these people would buy it. Okay, now an off the beaten path offer, off beaten path. Okay, this is where we focus mostly, the off the beaten path offer. So for me, I could tell the story on my blog. Okay, I could go and I could tell the story on my blog and I'd be like, hey, check it out. Ever since I got sober, I listened to these guys. It helps me out. These are the top guys and these are the top talks that I like. Now, in order to get them, I have to download them from wherever they're at. Okay, now in order to download them, I found this product over here at Commission Junction, or I think I think this specific one is at Ratukin or something like that. Rat something, right? It's a link share company. Okay, so I go there, I get the link, and now this program, you know, it's not perfect. It's not absolutely perfect, but my traffic's easy to get, super easy to get. So I'm like, hey, that's cool, right? There we go. So that's cool. So we look at that and we're like, great. They would like that. Let's do it. So I show them how to do it and I would get like anywhere from 50 to 75% of the sale. So let's say the program that downloads these things is, I think I just bought it last week to get a new one. I have several, but this was a new one. And it was, I, I think $39. Okay, so 50% of $79, so I would make $20 per order. Okay, so someone who's really interested in it. Now, it's not going to be everyone. Okay, like if I get 100 people to the site, maybe, maybe one, two, maybe three will be interested. Okay, pretty cool. So one, two, or three times my $20 commission would be 60 bucks. All I need to do is get traffic less than 60 bucks. Check this out. I still have 97 people on my site that are interested in other things. Okay, does that make sense to everyone? Does that make sense? And if you guys want the video to be bigger, um, you can hit, I think there's like a little button that, that makes it big. It's like a little square or something like that. Or you can control and then roll your mouse up or something like that. Okay? Okay, so does that make sense to everyone? Okay, type uh, 60 bucks if that makes sense. If that example made sense to you, type 60 bucks. Now, check this out. That means I can buy traffic for 60 cents a click. In this market, traffic's not 60 cents a click. It's like 10 cents a click or less, okay? Cool. Now, here's another thing. Just to let you know how this works, to get your mind working, okay, Anthony DeMello is just one guy who does talks. There's tons of others. There's TED Talks. You could do the whole list of people who do TED Talks. You could go and do pastors, the whole list of pastors. You can go and do um, literally anything. Guys, the sky is the limit. There's tons of traffic and marketers don't know what to do with this traffic. Now, my specialty and what I'm going to teach you in 2018 in the Profit 2018 course and here on my YouTube channel, and if you want to learn it, make sure you subscribe, put some comments in and everything like that. Click the little bell so you know when I'm live. Um, but we're going to show you these examples because there's tons of them out there everywhere. When you think of recipes, right? So many people want to make a blog about recipes and everyone else is doing it, which makes it very difficult. Now, if I went in and I made a blog about Cornish game hens, which we made for Christmas, which came out pretty good, by the way, right? If I made a blog about Cornish game hens, now I'm in a niche all to myself. The offers are easier because it's more specific. Okay, does that make sense? Okay. Okay, Roy's mad that his internet isn't working. I'm sorry, that's, I, I don't own the internet. I'm sorry, I just have a website, All right? Okay, so John says 60 bucks, which means people are following along. Okay, good, so our market or our niche is where we always, always want to start. Like uh, Brian and Kim says, you know, hey, gluten-free. Okay, that would be a good niche as well, 
um, I would go even deeper, right? Fine. Like, I would rather be a big fish, okay? We're going to draw this out because you can be a small fish in a big pond, okay? Now, the thing with the small fish in the big pond is there's some big fish in this pond already, okay? There's big fish out there, and they like to eat the little fish, and it makes it difficult for you. So what I like to do is I like to be the big-ass fish in the little pond, right? Here's our little pond. Why? Because the competition's nothing, the market's more refined, and I don't have to do a lot to make these numbers, right? Think about this for a minute. If this guy wants to make $350 a day, if this example works, obviously it's hypothetical, but a lot of the hypothetical examples I show are from things I've really done, so it works, right? So we're like, okay, if it's 60 bucks I'm making on 100 clicks, well then if I wanted to make 350 bucks, all I need to do is times that by... Uh, about six, okay? And now I'm at $360, okay? And that is really only 600 visitors a day we're dealing with, okay? Small, small little market, right? Small little market, 600 clicks. And I got to ask you, are you really willing to let 600 clicks or a thousand clicks stop you from the money you want to make? I mean, you want to make 500, all you do is times that by uh, nine or 10, depending on how you want to slice it. Okay, like Brian and Kim say, hey, I want to be a big ass fish. Good, be a big ass fish and go into a market that you know you can get. This is what I call deliberate, okay? Deliberate. The reason people do not get the results that they want is because they're not deliberate, right? They go out there and they're like, well, I'm going to go into mortgages or I'm going to go into this. Now, when people buy our high ticket niches, what we're doing is we're giving them the little pond. Okay, and you can check that out at highticketniches.com if you're interested in that. We give you the pond, we show you the offers to run, we help you out with it. I have a coffee around here somewhere. Okay, so we have that. So we gotta be deliberate. Okay, so first of all, we gotta get our market or our niche, and we gotta be deliberate. We have to say, what can we do? We have to do it, okay? Like Trev says, Everything starts with finding the niche that is being ignored. This seems to most, be the most important first step. Yes, we have to do that, right? We have to go in that and we have to say our niche first. Now, whether it's Anthony DeMello, whatever it is. Now, again, let's take a look at the other ways to make money. Okay, we know we can sell stuff. Okay, now selling stuff, and we'll break it down for you. Selling stuff, if you're new, you're gonna get, maybe if you're lucky, a 1% maybe if you're really good, a 3% conversion rate. Okay. Does that make sense to everyone? That means for every hundred visitors, you're going to get one to three sales. Pretty basic. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, Trev says, what kind of minimum searches do we need to make this work? Well, that's what we're breaking down. Okay. So if you want to make one sale a day, you need like a hundred clicks. If you need uh, to make three sales a day. You could do that in a hundred clicks, but you have to be really good. Okay. And we're going to talk about that. We're going to break that down as well. Now there's other ways to make money. Another way that you can make money is on a click. Okay. This is a very popular one. You see people on YouTube, you see people on uh, blogs, you see people on websites and what they have is they use something called sponsored ads. Okay, pretty cool. Sponsored ads. This is one of the ways we get paid. Now, this is one of the lowest you're going to get paid for what you do, but sometimes it works really, really well. For example, if I could flip a market like this guy or maybe flip a market like um, maybe uh, let's do budget spreadsheet, right? If I do budget spreadsheet, maybe I could flip them over to like mortgage clicks, which are like eight to forty dollars a click or maybe i find a keyword like what to do after a car accident and i send them to ads for like lawyers in their area for car accident lawyers those guys pay a lot of money obviously we see them on tv okay so you could get paid per click okay so we got sale we got click now click is through like the adsense program and everything else what they do like the affiliate companies they don't give you a link they give you a code you put the code on the site it generates ads people click you get paid Okay, that's something like you could do AdSense, uh, Yahoo has one, you have places like, um, what's that one called, 7Search for a smaller one, um, you have other ones like um, 
different kind of contextual ads and things like that. Okay, so they work well. You could also do like Taboola and stuff like that where they pay for a click on like an actual image ad and stuff like that. Okay, really cool. Now, uh, Yellow says, what do we need to do if we find a great ignored niche but can't find a product to promote? Great. That's where we go off the beaten path. Okay, so for this example with this guy, okay, I'm selling a software that downloads stuff. That has nothing to do with what they looked for, but it does help them. The guy looking for a budget spreadsheet. Really, he wants a spreadsheet, but I know that you don't want a budget spreadsheet unless you want a budget, which means you want to like save money, make money, pay things off, all that. Okay, now I know what's behind it. Okay, so what this is called is, is a term called anticipatory marketing okay like this if i could get a crystal ball and look into your life and see what's going on and i could predict what's going to happen right let me let me give you an example here let's say um let's say i have a list of all the people who are one month behind on their mortgage, right? Or two months or whatever. Let's say I have that list. Okay, now I can anticipate that they probably are struggling with money. They might have foreclosure down the road. They might have, um, they might need to rent a house down the road. Maybe they're looking at bankruptcy, right? Does everyone see how that one little information provides a whole slew of things that can help me help them and make money in the process, right? Does that make sense? Hopefully it does. And there's a great video on my YouTube channel I did about three years ago after I got out of um, my rehab when I was in alcohol addiction. And after I got out, I, I thought to myself, I said, well, I wonder if you could have predicted me needing to go to rehab by my search history. Okay, now think about that question for a minute. That's something other internet marketers don't talk about because they don't think about it, right? But what if we could predict what was going to happen. Now, mind you, these rehab companies, another way that you can get paid is for a lead. Okay, a lead is when someone fills out a form, um, makes a phone call or whatever. It generates a lead for a company, like a interested person that wants to buy or do something. Okay, the rehab companies pay like anywhere from a hundred bucks to like $800 for a lead or a phone call. Okay, so think about this for a minute. Think about this. If you could have predicted by my search stuff, okay, pretty easy. You reverse engineer it. You look at all the other people searching for the same stuff and you get the same outcome. Like, yeah, this guy's probably going to struggle with this. Okay. Does that make sense? I know it's a far out idea, but does that make sense for you? Okay. Uh, daily, we don't need you to advertise in here. So we're going to shut your thing off here. Okay. And I think we can, there we go. Cool. Okay, right? Does that make sense to everyone? Okay, cool. So if we can predict it, we can make a lot of money. If we can predict what's going to happen, we can make money. And that's what this is about, right? It's about understanding it. Now, we can get paid on a sale. We can get paid on a click. We can get paid on a lead, okay? These are like, uh, you could go to like um, Global Wide. Uh, Max Bounty has a lot of them. Um, you can find a lot of these on Offer Vault. Now, OfferVault is not an affiliate network. They're an affiliate aggregator, which means that they just put all the offers up there so you can go find them at the networks, which is helpful. That's why we, we partner with them and we use them, okay? So you could get paid per lead. Another one, which is one of my favorites, is you could get paid for a download, okay? Now, a download is really cool. These are some of my favorite ones because you can find things that will help people. For example, Let's say that someone is searching for um, a 1099 form or um, a driver's license renewal form, okay? Or some kind of form, right? They're looking for forms, okay? There just so happens to be a downloadable toolbar that gives people forms and we get paid like $3 when they download it, okay? Pretty cool. So we're like, cool, I can get three bucks on that. Or maybe there's a, a template toolbar where people can get HTML templates and you know different kind of templates. Like one of the niches I found for it was for a job application cover letter, right? They wanted job application cover letters. Now that's pretty cool, right? Think about that. Here's a guy looking up job application cover letter. What do they want? Well, first of all, we know they want a job, 
Okay, second of all, we know that they're looking for a cover letter, which means they probably haven't finalized their resume, which means they're probably not that good at getting said job. Okay, so we could go through, we could be like, well, why don't you download this template thing, make your little cover letter, and if you put your name and email, I'll also send you some, um, some samples, right? These are samples from people who got jobs, it works. Okay, so I just made three bucks off them, and then we could do other things like job finding sites, um, how to get a job, how to ace the interview. Okay, is everyone seeing how this works? And is anyone getting an aha moment of like, okay, I'm starting to see it now, right? I'm starting to see how it works. We're not going for the direct thing. Like I'm not going for how to get a job or unemployed. I'm going for a guy who's in the process of it, okay? Like Mike says, yeah, if you get 30 people to download this every day, which isn't hard, there's lots of people looking this up. Now you got 90 right? Really, really, really cool. Um, Jerome, you can use this account, okay? So, there we go. All right, so download is how that works, and he was asking about his, because he advertised on there. Okay, so you could use a download, um, toolbars, and things like that, and there's tons of them, right? So, any questions on this so far? Okay, we're going to go through a lot. We're going to break it down. We're going to make it work, and if you like this, and if this is the way that you want to make money online, you're going to want to go to Profit2018.com, fill out the form, tell us about yourself, and get joined up with the Profit 2018 course. And we're going to walk you through it all. We're going to help you set up your first one. We're going to help you set up your second one and however many others we set up with you. right? And we're going to show you how to make this work in a real world way. Because guys, when people say, well, it's 2018 and all the good niches are taken, they're not. You just don't know how to look at them. Right, so like um, it was, who was it? We had someone on here who asked a question. Yeah, he said, you know, is, what about the herbal niche? Okay, herbal is not a niche, that's a word. Okay, a niche would be, I need to know about my market. Right, I need to know what my market needs. I need to know about them. So someone typing in herbal, I don't know. Right, I don't, I, they could want herbal tea, they could want, other herbal, they could want herbal life and they don't know how to spell. Um, it could be anything, right? So what I want to do is I want to break it down and be like, okay, well, what about like benefits of a certain herb or benefits of a certain something or maybe essential oil herbs or whatever? Okay, we look at this and we break it down by what's going on. Okay, now HTML says, what about the tea niche? Okay, tea again is really broad. We want to drill down and find something specific. Again, this is tea. Tea's right here. This is tea. This is herbal. Okay, this is money. This is a diet. Okay, this is all the stuff that's the little fish in the big pond, which is very, very difficult. Okay, very difficult. So we want to be the big fish here, and we want to find a selective niche. Because if you find that niche, you can do really well, become an expert in that market, become uh, the authority, and boom, now you own it. Okay, you might be like, well, Marcus, you know, maybe this one only makes like five or 10,000 a month. Okay, then you hone it in, do better, and make another, right? Because if you want to tackle the herbal niche or the tea niche, you don't do it by going for the word herbal right away. You do it by tackling all the different types of herbs and the benefits and things like that, and then boom, 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 there you go. Okay, so HTML says, so a specific niche is a sentence, <coughs> not necessarily. It could be one word, or it could be like Form 1099, or um, a guy's name for the, the MP3s or whatever. Okay, so very, very cool. Okay, um, now, herbs like good for skin. Yeah, you could do herbs that are good for skin. Um, benefits of skin, or, or for skin, not that, like for good skin, I should say, um, for the word and stuff like that, and it'll make it work really well. Okay, so download is another way we can get paid. Um, sale click lead download um, you can also get paid on a trial okay trial offer okay trial offers are really good because when we do this it's like okay well i'm going to try out this product maybe they pay three dollars and they try it out they get it with free shipping and maybe he pays you um you know 80 80 bucks okay like one of the ones i did was for uh, web hosting would be like a trial, right? They pay $6, they get hosting, you get $100. Um, one of the ones I did was for those ab machines. Obviously, I don't use them, but the ones that make you get muscly stomach muscles, um, those pay really well. Uh, the trial ones are as seen on TV. 
Okay, um, those are really good. So what we have here is we look at this. Okay, again, remember, I want you guys to remember this in your mind. And then if you want to do this, we'll help you do it uh, by way of profit 2018. Okay, dot com. So we look at this and we're like, okay, we got our market. Then we go and we find our offer. Okay, we got perfect. We got really close offer and we have off beaten path. So you want to look at where your offer lies. Okay, where does it lie? We look at it and we're like, okay, um, if it's perfect, your conversion rate's going to be really, really high. Okay, your conversion's going to be really good. Okay, so like if we found something where it was like um, refinance tips or refinance credit limits or whatever. Okay, and then we found something that was like a lead form that said refinance credit limits lead form. Okay, that would be perfect. Our conversion rate's going to be really good, which on a lead form, you're usually looking at 10 to 30% conversion unless it's what we call a short form which is like just email just name just zip code or something like that in which case you could be anywhere from like 50 to 70 percent okay it's like a simple lead form okay so you look at that and you, you do these numbers for a click okay you look at it you say how many of my visitors are going to click on the ads well maybe we're going to get uh you know maybe 10 to 25 percent are going to click on the ad okay then you say okay well if i'm making a dollar and only 10% click, then I'm really making 10 cents a visitor. Okay, does that make sense? You got to know this stuff, and, and hopefully it's making sense. Okay, uh, Yellow says, someone said hosting is too competitive. Yeah, hosting's over here. However, I have a site that makes about four to $5,000 a month on hosting, and I'm a big fish in a small pond. Okay, the way that we do this is we find a market that doesn't know they need hosting, but we know they do. Right, so if you can anticipate, again, that's the anticipatory marketing, right? If I know what the person needs before they need it, like let's say they're trying to set up a blog. Okay, that guy needs hosting. That's a smaller niche than, than hosting, okay? Okay. Um, let's see. What about an offer for people looking for deals at restaurants? Okay, well, that would be good. That would be like a short form lead. Okay, that would probably be like a zip code or maybe an app download or something like that get like a 50% conversion rate on those guys and they're going to pay lower, right? Obviously a shorter form is going to pay lower. A bigger form is going to pay um, a lot higher. So on these, maybe you'll get uh, $2 a lead. On these, maybe you'll get like 40 to 100. Okay. Now on downloads, obviously uh, those are really good converters if you do it right. Uh, my The highest I've seen on a download was about 47%. Okay. Um, and the lowest I've seen was like 3%. It just totally, it's a problem with the offer. It just sucked. Uh, but usually you'll be right around the 10 to 20% range. Okay, again, you might be saying, well, that's cool. I get three bucks a download. You got to break it down. If you're making $3 a download and you're only 10% of them are downloading, then you're making an average of 30 cents a click. Okay, and if you look at this, it makes really good, uh, makes it work really good. Okay, um, Elizabeth says, Marcus, how do I get cheap cost per click on low competition keyword? You bid on it, right? You just get a good word with your niche. We go in, we show you how to use the tool. You're going to find words that are off the beaten path. They're not direct, right? So like people are going to go here and they're going to find something like a ClickBank offer. Let's find a ClickBank because everyone knows how this, how this pans out. Okay, so let's say your ClickBank offer is six pack abs or maybe something like make money online. And let's say you get paid $32 a sale. Okay, this is how most marketers go about it. They look at this and they go, oh, you know, six pack abs, pretty cool. I get $32 a sale, make money online. Great, I get 32 a sale or whatever. They're gonna go to their Google AdWords tool and they're gonna type in make money online. They're gonna type in six pack abs and they're gonna find out that these words are gonna gravitate to break even. What does that mean? That means that if you have to get this traffic, it's either going to be very difficult or the cost per click is not going to justify the amount you make. Let's say $32 a sale and you get 100 clicks and it's converting 1%, chances are your traffic's going to be 32 cents. Okay, break even. Does that make sense? Okay, we're not in the business of breaking even. It doesn't work. Okay, it's just, unless you're generating a list, then it does work. Okay. 
Okay, D-Train says, I know I just got here, but I, my experience tells me there should be more likes on this. Well, give us a like if you like it. Okay, uh, Elizabeth says, I tried bidding on a low competition keyword, but I got no traffic because it was below first page bid. Okay, there's two things you want to look at when you're bidding on traffic. One, your site and ad needs to be relevant. Okay, because what Google's going to do is they're looking, and all the search engines for that matter, is they're looking for people who get interest. Okay, they want to make the guy searching happy, right? Whoever searches for this needs to be super happy. Okay, that's what their goal is because if they're not happy, right? If you're not happy with one search engine and they start sucking, then you go to a different search engine and they don't want that. So they want your site and your ad to be relevant and the only way they know it's relevant is by your keywords, okay? Site content and your CTR or click-through rate. Obviously, if you get 100 people to see your ad and five people click, and I get 100 to see my ad and 35 people click, Google's gonna say, well, I think Marcus is more relevant because they're clicking on it. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, we'll take a break, let you digest real quick, and um, let me know if that makes sense to you. Okay. And I'll let you guys look at the board and ask some questions before we continue on. Okay, Biohacker says, how do I get people to see my ad? Well, you could pay for it. You could buy banner ads, you could, right now, one of the things that we're gonna go through, because a lot of people don't wanna deal with AdWords and AdSense and all this stuff, um, I'm gonna show you how one of my most profitable methods in 2017 was buying banner ads. And I guarantee you, you talk to other marketers that tell you banner ads are dead. However, they're making me uh, a small fortune and they work. Okay, Renee says, do you offer help narrowing down niches? Yes, if you have a niche, like let's say you're in hosting or herbal or whatever, and you want to narrow it down, you would want to get either the Profit 2018 course or one of our high ticket niches at highticketniches.com. Okay, and we'll help you. We'll get you a little report. We'll show you how to go into it. And we'll also show you the offers and everything. Okay, Nonchalant says, is Amazon affiliate websites still earn money? Yes, they do. Lots of people earn money with Amazon affiliate websites. Um, they work really well if you do them right. Now, my drawback is that for most traffic, Okay, you're going to see things out there. You're going to see people out there who have blogs. Okay, and these blogs get mad traffic, right? Their traffic is huge. Okay, I'm talking like more traffic in a month than I've had my entire life. Okay, now what you're going to see is a lot of them that have mad traffic, they use the Amazon affiliate network or they use something else and they make very, very, very little money. Okay, they make very little. Why? One, it's untargeted. Two, you have to sell something. And three, um, the amount they pay per sale is so low, right? You would do better. Like if you had all this traffic and you know that something's selling on Amazon, you would do better to go import the product yourself and sell it on your own like I did with the gas-powered scooters, right? I found out, hey, all these people are coming for gas-powered scooters. If I sell them as an affiliate, I get like 30 bucks. If I do drop shipping, Boom, I can make $270 a pop on these bad guys. Okay, how do you make money with banner ads? Well, banner ads are over here. Okay, a market or a niche can also be a banner ad. Now, one of the things that we are going to talk about in the Profit 2018 course, and this is going to be laid out. So if anything's confusing for you and you want to know more about it, Profit 2018 is the way to go. Now, you do need to apply for it. It is a little bit more pricey than my other courses, but we're taking you through everything step by step. Nothing's gonna be left out. We're gonna show you exactly how to do it. But one of the things we're gonna talk about is the opportunity of missed traffic. Okay, right now on the internet, there is a lot of traffic. Okay, is there any doubt about that? Like right now, while we're on this call, I got you know a couple hundred people on this call or whatever. There's other people watching other stuff. There's other people doing other things. There's other people on Amazon buying things. There's people on Google searching. There's people all over the place, right?
Okay? So all those people, very, very few know how to make as much as possible on their traffic. Very few. Very, very few. You talk about being a, little, a big fish in a little pond. Okay, if you go and find these people's traffic, they sell banners for pennies on the dollar. Why? Because they're making mad traffic and they're, they're making so little money because they don't know how to do it. Now, to them, they're like, whoa, cool, man. I'm making three grand a month. I'm happy. To a guy like me, I'm like, well, you got all that traffic and you're only making three grand a month? That sucks. I mean, you're talking about my hosting website gets like less than a thousand uh, visitors a month. Less than a thousand clicks. I'm making like four grand on it. Okay. Um, when I was doing uh, the traffic for the toolbars, right? We still do a lot of the toolbars. When I was doing one of my bigger sites with it, we had this site. Everyone in the market was happy getting a penny to two cents a click. What did I do? I went to them and I bought their traffic for two cents a click. Now, because of what I was doing with the downloads, I was able to make 12 to 36 cents a click off of it. Okay, so if you could spot this opportunity, if you could spot the way to make money off this traffic, like right now, everyone's flipping out about the YouTube demonetization, right? YouTube's like, okay, we don't want to have ads on your site or whatever, which takes some people's money away. Okay, now to me, you look at these things and it could be a blessing in disguise because it could force you to find a way to make more because the average YouTuber is making about a dollar to two dollars per 1,000 views. Okay, that would mean that my entire channel, since I started it, um, would be worth, what would that be? 1.5 million views. I think we're at 1.6 million now, something like that. Okay, 1.5 million views times, let's take 1,000 off of that. How would that work? I think it'd be like 1,500. It'd be like, I don't know, 10 grand or something. What would my math be? Let me do it on the calculator to see if I can get it. Uh, let's see, one five oh oh over one thousand, so that would be fifteen thousand. So yeah, that would mean that my entire channel to date, on the averages, is worth thirty thousand dollars. How many of you guys think that I've made thirty more than thirty thousand dollars off my YouTube channel? If you don't think it, you're way off because I've made way more than that. Um, way more than 10 times that probably if i had to do the math i don't know probably 50 times that right but we got to look at the averages because this is what most people do and most people when we talk about buying banner ads they don't understand the value of their traffic your job is to create valuable traffic where there seems to be none right 1099 form or there's a form that people look up for irs i think it's something like 9066 or something. I don't know. Don't quote me, but we'll find it during this webinar. And it's a form that helps people use a payment plan for the IRS. Now I look at that and I'm like, well, they want that form. The only reason they'd want that is for a payment plan. The only reason you need a payment plan is because you can't pay something. There's these tax lawyers that help you out with that. Maybe I could send the leads to them. All right. Does that make sense to everyone? Okay. Uh, let's see here. You get your traffic before they think of Amazon, they click to your blog, and then it redirects them to Amazon. Not exactly. Um, that would be what's called click flopping, which we don't do, or thin affiliate sites, which we don't do. Okay, uh, Marcus, does the keyword you spoke about earlier have to do with meta tags? Meta tags you use for SEO, for ranking, um, but the keyword doesn't have to do with it uh, so much. Okay, you mentioned signing up for simple sites for beginners to get experience before the profit 2018 begins. Is that correct? Yes. If you are interested in profit 2018, get a high ticket niche, get our simple sites, um, and tell us you're interested in, or just go to profit 2018 and tell us you're interested. That way we know you're serious and we'll credit whatever you got towards it if it's within the last month or so. Okay, so good. Just get some started somewhere. Say, Marcus, I'm in it to win it. This makes sense to me. I get it. I see it. Right? The other guys aren't teaching this because I don't know why, but whatever. Uh, I like teaching it because it's fun and it never ends. There's always lots of, um, lots of people out there that, that want things. Okay, how do, we, how do we know how much content the certain site needs? You need to say what you need to say, how you need to say it. Okay, so if I'm going to make content, so like this webinar, okay, there's going to be about an hour and a half of content. Hopefully you guys are enjoying it. If you are, let me know. Type something in the box. And... It takes me about an hour and a half to say it. Now, uh, if you're writing something, how long does it take to say uh, the best audios of that guy? Or how long does it take 
to show them how to get the download. So it could be anywhere from one page to a huge website, depending on what your market is. Okay. Mike says, do you ever write product reviews to get people to your website, then redirect them to affiliate site? I never write a product review or do a product review on a different product. Okay. That's an unethical way to do it. Like if I'm just writing a product review to get you to buy something else, like, Hey, um, you know, there's a big company that does this in the affiliate marketing thing. And if you've seen bad reviews on me, that's why, because all they do is write bad reviews on every product and say, go buy this instead. It's totally like shady, scammy stuff. Um, but when we look at this, we're like, okay, um, if I do a product review on one of the products I'm doing, then it can work. Like, let's say, um, I'm going for like download MP3. Okay. If I want to go in this market and I know I can make it work, what I would do is I would go buy the top five MP3 downloaders. I'd test them out. I'd make a little content, little screenshots, and then I'd do little reviews on them. Right. And I'd be like, Oh, Hey, if you want to download from this site, boom, this is the one you want. So I'd go and I'd review each individual product. But again, I would use the traffic here. Right, because using the traffic of the product name is, I mean, it can work, but it's not the greatest way to make it work because oftentimes the affiliate doesn't even want you to do that. Um, so, and again, if you're, if you're doing something based on the product name, you're tied to that product, you don't own your own market. Okay, if I do something based on the anticipatory marketing or a keyword that I know works, I own it. That is mine. If the offer goes away, if they stop paying me, whatever, I go to whatever next offer works. Okay, so you want to own your traffic like for 2018, your goal should be own your, your, I'll spell it right, market, own your market, own your traffic, run it, right? If you're doing something where you can build a list like this Anthony DeMello or whatever, if you like Tony Robbins tapes or whatever, right? Get a list, say, Hey, we're going to give you the top mp3s whatever we're gonna show you how to download them boom make your list make it work okay you go for all those things now you're not just owning one one person and one thing you're gonna go for all of them okay um let's see who did i learn from most of it was self-taught but over the over the years i learned from direct marketers first back in uh, 1999 2000 and then you know i learned from everyone i'm always learning Okay, even people I don't like, I learn from. Okay, uh, Marcus, can you please explain how to make my keywords good enough for Google? Uh, it needs to be good enough for the searcher, right? You gotta, you gotta make content that works. You gotta make content that fits the need. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Okay. Nonchalant says, let's say we have an Amazon affiliate website and we change the product's description for better SEO. Will this get banned from Amazon affiliate program? I have no idea. Um, I don't do marketing that way. I never use pre-made websites. Okay, there's tons of them out there. You could get like a Amazon plugin that puts Amazon stuff on your site. And it's like, okay, well, that's they can't do as good as me. I want to do direct. Like I want to know what my market wants and I want to make it for them. And I could get by with a one page website where you might need a hundred pages of junk to make a third of what I make or whatever. Okay. Daniel says, is there a simple process to set up and get started to make money online? I have spent 1800 in the past two months with a company that was supposed to get me up and going. Bad joke. Okay. Daniel, first of all, you can't buy income. Okay. Let's all, let's all get this real right now. You can't buy income okay there are ways to buy some kind of income if you were to buy a franchise okay i know that if i go and i buy a mcdonald's not only can i contribute to the world's unhealth and terrible food um but i could probably make 30 to a hundred thousand dollars a month income from that now in order to get that it's probably going to cost me like two million dollars Okay, now most people on this site don't have $2 million. They're not ready to invest in a McDonald's, okay? For the rest of you, a lot of people come to me and they're like, Marcus, I want to pay you $1,000 so that I can make ten grand a month. 
And I'm like, okay, well, I don't sell $10,000 a month for, for $1,000. I mean, think about that. You're like, I'm going to invest $1,000 and now I want $10,000 every month or $120,000 a year. Okay? Not going to happen. No one's going to do that. They're not even going to do it for like $2,000 or whatever. Okay? That's not going to happen. If you fall for that, then you need to go back to business school because that's not how it works. Okay? Now, can you invest in yourself and your learning? Yes, you can. You absolutely, that's what we're doing here in Profit 2018. Okay, years ago, I started and I said, I want to do affiliate marketing. I want to do internet marketing. I want to work from home. I want to stay home and I want to make it work. Okay, that's what I said. So what I did is I went out and I learned as much as I could. I was broke. Okay, I bought a course for $67. I learned in it. It was a pretty crappy course, but I was able to take bits and pieces that I could learn from. And then I went and I, I learned for free what I could. Right? So if you have no money, you can learn this stuff on your own. It's going to take a lot longer. You don't have someone looking over your shoulder. You don't have someone helping you. So you can do it, though. What I did is I said, I'm going to invest in me. I'm going to invest in a skill. And the skill that I set out to learn was the skill that we talked about here, which is being able to take traffic that people don't know is valuable and turn it into value. Very, very, very important. Now, one of the secrets here in life and in business is something is only valuable if people say it's valuable. Like right now, people say Bitcoin is valuable, very valuable. Why is it valuable? Because everyone else agrees that it's valuable, right? Right now, my house is worth a certain amount. Why is it worth a certain amount? Because everyone agrees that that's what they're willing to pay for other houses in the area. It's an agreement very very important so our world works on agreements okay very cool now a lot of people struggle with this because they say well what if i fail what if i look like i don't know what i'm doing what if it doesn't work right what if it doesn't work well that's an agreement you make with yourself to say i'm going to be prey to what i'm going to feel so i'm not going to do anything because I don't want to feel a certain way or whatever. Now, when I set out, I said, I'm going to do this. People said, you're going to fail. They laughed at me. They thought the name PC money making was stupid. They thought everything I did was ah, that's stupid. Go get a real job. You're a loser. But I said, you know, there were times my brain said, yeah, you're a loser. You should go do something. And I said, yeah, you know, I don't think so. All I'm doing is I'm buying into their agreement, right? And it doesn't matter what they think. It doesn't matter what happens. What matters is, do I get the results I want? Am I happy where I'm at? Very, very interesting, right? So we look at that. Now, how many of you guys right now, you have that belief and you say, well, I'm too worried about failing that I'm not going to do anything, right? And you look at it. How many times have I failed? Lots of times, right? There's been things that don't work. There's been things that do work. But I invested in myself and that is worth a killing to me now. I mean relative killing. Some people agree that my money's worth nothing. Some people agree that, you know, you need to make more. Some people say, hey, dude, that guy's arrived. He makes his money. He does his thing. Okay, let's take a look here. Okay, can I make money on Pinterest? Well, Pinterest doesn't pay anyone. Pinterest is a traffic source, so you can make money with Pinterest's traffic, but you really can't make money on Pinterest, if that makes sense. Okay, um, Go watch Marcus's videos and figure out why the other guy sucks. Okay, well, thank you. How can I make a full-time income with little startup money? You start deliberate, right? This is it. That's what this is about. If you're starting and you have little startup money, what I would do is I would say, go get Simple Sites Big Profits, okay? It's 297 bucks. It's a software that will teach you everything. It's video training. You will learn how to do this. Now, if, if you need to get on a payment plan, there's a payment plan there that'll make it easier for those that uh, need help with that. And we'll have a payment plan for the 2018 course as well. But what you do is you find a market and you do really well in that market. Okay. I'm talking, you know, get something to a thousand bucks a month, get something to a hundred bucks a month, get something to do something right. When I start a site, even though I've made tons of sites, I've made millions of dollars with my sites. I still get excited when my new site makes $3. Why? Because I know this is all about people. This is all about people. If all these people download stuff, fill out lead forms, buy stuff or whatever, I know I've gotten a response. This is all about response. Your job is to get a response. These people don't know the value of their traffic. 
because they're not getting a response or they're getting the wrong response. Okay, so if you want to start with a little, find something deliberate. Marcus, have you learned stuff from Evan Pagan or Frank Kern? Uh, Frank, I've learned a lot from. I actually worked with him back in 2003. Uh, great guy. Okay. Testing markets is crucial. Testing markets is everything. If you can't test a market, like if you look at it as success or failure and you attach your meaning to your market and you're like, I set that up, 100 people came, no one did anything, I failed, whatever, I quit, then you shouldn't be a marketer. It, however, if you're able to look at it objectively and be like, hey, these people don't know me. They don't care about me, right? They just care about what they want. And let's try again. Let's see if it works. And obviously do it smart, right? Don't go out there and waste a thousand dollars on traffic if you don't think it's going to work. And if you have one of our courses before you buy traffic, show us what you're doing. We'll try to help you out with it. Okay. Uh, Renee says, it's taken me three years to get past this phase. Well, Renee, 2018 is the year for you. Uh, make it, make it work, right? You have to make this work like Mzimak, something I think it's called. Uh, I got to get over myself, right? Getting over yourself is everything. But here's a secret. What self are you trying to get over? Right? What, what is there? Like, what am I trying to get over? Your opinion of me? Right? There's, there's a lot of people who think I'm terrible. There's a lot of people who think I'm great. There's people who don't really care. The majority of the world does not care. They don't know what a Marcus Campbell is. They, like Most of you guys, when I set up a website, you don't even see it. You have no idea it exists. The people who come to the website don't care. They forget it exists right after they were there. Right? So all you're doing is battling a figment of your, of your imagination that doesn't exist. Right? If I sat around and I said, well, what if, I, what if it doesn't? Right? Make it work. You look at the people in life who get what they want, it's because they made it work. They said, there is no failure. I'm going to make it work. And that's what I said. And uh, I think it was 1999. It might have been 2000. It's right, right on the end of 99, 2000. I sat down and I said to myself, I was like, I'm, it's not going to fail. People are like, well, what's your backup plan? I don't have a backup plan. This is what's going to work. Well, how do you know it's going to work? Because here it is here. Right? How do I know it's going to work? People are searching stuff. People are paying for stuff. That's all I got to do. Link them. That's what I do. Right? That's what an affiliate does. Okay. Um, sometimes I look around, I'm okay with being a loser. Well, there is no loser. There's just people. Okay, there's people in society and there's agreements of what people think works. Like there's some people, when we moved to Florida, they were like, oh, you got a smaller house. Yeah, you must suck. I'm like, no, we just figured out we don't like cleaning a big house. Uh, we wanted a smaller one. We like it, right? And they were like, well, that means this. That means, it doesn't mean anything, right? Um, and people who say, well, you know, you do this or you do that or whatever car you drive. Right? If I showed fancy cars on here, chances are you guys would get your greed glands going and, and you'd be like, oh, well, that guy's arrived. And you make that up in your mind. It has nothing to do with reality. Nine times out of ten, those guys rent that shit anyway just for their video. But you look at it and you say, what is it I want? This is about the real stuff. It's not about messing around. Right? This is about making it work. Who's going to make a commitment to themselves in 2018? You're going to make it work. Whether you buy my stuff, whether you join the Profit 2018, or whether you learn it on your own, you're going to make this work no matter what. There is no failure. You do it. You just go do it, right? Just the other week, I was talking to someone. He's like, Marcus, I'm struggling with this stuff. What do I do? I was like, check this out. Watch this video. He watched a video, and it told him to go on forums and help people out and link to products. And he's like, dude, in 45 minutes, I made the first $60 commission I've ever made online. In 45 minutes. 45 minutes, and you know, 60 bucks. So what are you going to buy a damn hamburger? Well, I still get excited about that because I know that that thing is still out there. It can make me 60 bucks a week, a month, a year, a day. If it makes me $60 a day, that's $18,000 for 15 minutes of work if it does what it's supposed to do. And if you do it deliberately, it will do it. If you do it deliberate. But if you're out there and you're not looking at it objectively, I mean, you're not focusing on people and you're not focusing on what they want and what you could give them, then it's not going to work for you. But this is, it works if you do it, right? I, I think 2018, we should be past the whole affiliate marketing doesn't work because it's like, well, we see it everywhere. Okay. Uh, can you explain about paid traffic? Yeah, you buy traffic. There's tons of ways. You could buy it on um, banner ads. You could buy it from Google. You could buy it anywhere. Paid traffic is buying traffic. Okay, now traffic's easy to buy. 
And if you join the 2018 course, we're going to show you how to spot these loopholes. Like right now, there's people who don't know the value of their YouTube, don't know the value of their Instagram, don't know the value of their Facebook, don't know the value of all this stuff. And it's up to us to go in there and buy it cheap, right? That's called arbitrage. Um, okay. Let's see. Jessica, I don't know what that is, so I can't tell you if it's a good niche. Okay, Brian says, can a newbie start with your high-ticket niches or should we start with simple sites before going through Profit18? Uh, go ahead and get a high-ticket niche today. Um, sign up for one. Remind me, because um, I actually do look at the, the people who sign up and see if they were on the call. Um, and remind me that you were on this call and we'll, we'll help you get sorted. We'll have a little live chat and get you sorted out. Okay. Um, so yeah, start with a high-ticket niche and then if you can get the 2018, go for it. Okay, Oscar says, I'm not afraid to fail. It's part of the learning process. Make tweaks and do better next time. Move forward, exactly. Okay, uh, Profit 2018 course will learn us how to go from zero to hero affiliates. Yes, that's gonna teach you how to go from nothing and make it work. Okay, Elizabeth is having problem with her 2017 course. One of the bonuses we're giving for everyone who ordered Simple Sites 2017 is we're giving you some really good videos um, because that course has had some issues with the videos we tried to update it um, but it is working and um, we're going to give you guys the the new ones and if you need help with that go to pcmoneymaking.com but you guys are going to get a really cool bonus for that as well okay renee is 100 percent ready to make it work yellow says focus on people and what we can give them aha good glad you got that want to make it work okay ariel islam says mentory program or simple sites simple sites first all the way um, if you can afford simple sites, get it. Even if you have to do the payment plan or high ticket niche on a payment plan, that works too. Okay, so um, again, profit2018.com is where you can learn about that. I'm going to take a couple of questions. Um, so go ahead and type your questions in and we'll get those answered. And if you do want to get signed up for Profit 2018, uh, we will be on live chat this afternoon. So if you want to get in there and talk to us and ask about it and stuff will go th from there um but yeah okay so type your questions we'll get those okay excellent now yellow is talking about uh youtube and video marketing which video marketing is killer you don't have to be on camera but if you do uh, he says, how do we overcome the uncertainty of going on front of a camera and making yourself shown? Uh, well, here's the secret, right? When you film on your camera, no one has to see it. Like, I know a lot of people get nervous, and in the beginning, I did too. I remember I did a video in uh, 2009 with someone at a marketing meeting, and I was all nervous about it. I don't know why. But I remember now I look at it, and I'm like, well, if I film it on the camera, I could delete it if it sucks. I don't have to use it. Right? And you just talk to people like they do, right? You just talk like normal. Okay. Biohacker says, I'm ready to do, what should I do first? Uh, if you have the means, get in the Profit 2018. Um, we could get you in there uh, or get one of our other courses, depending on your budget. Okay. Marcus, have you decided on your 25 people for Profit 2018 case study? Not yet. Uh, we are going to do that this week and next week. Um, so again, if you're interested in that, um, it's going to be, I think we've settled on a price like three times as much as the high ticket niches, um, but you're going to get some niches and you get coaching and everything. So it's like a no brainer. Um, and it's going to be like a six month training course, uh, but you'll be able to get results the first month. Okay. I love to make videos. How do I start? I start with simple sites or high ticket niche. Marcus, when are you usually on live chat? Um, usually late afternoon, sometimes in the morning. Uh, we actually have two new people we brought on board that are going to be on live chat as well. Oh, okay, Yellow says, I mean uncertainty of what it would mean if I had a bunch of videos with myself on YouTube. Um, well, you know, it's not as big as you would think. Like, I've been doing this a long time. Um, before I used YouTube as our hosting platform, and I use others as well, uh, we've had millions and millions of people view the videos, probably tens of millions, which for some is kind of small, for some is pretty big. Um, I've only been recognized one time uh, out of that entire time, so, and that was a guy at Costco, which freaked me out, but it's all right, he was a nice guy. He actually ended up being an intern for me. 
Um, okay. What do you think about YouTube how-to for musicians? I think that's a great idea. Uh, looking to book better gigs, make better promotes, what would be good affiliate for that? Um, I actually had a site years ago about setting up sites for bands. Um, that's a great niche if that's what you're talking about. Okay, D says, regionally speaking, people use different terms. How do you use that to your advantage or overcome that obstacle? Um, you speak how the market speaks. You know, like here we talk about SEO and pay-per-click and banner ads. Other people don't talk about that. Um, so, you know, you have to just kind of adapt. Like your job should be knowing your market better than your market knows itself. Like when we talk about anticipatory marketing and that example of how I looked at my search history uh, after I got out of rehab, it was like, boom, you can predict it. Can I know you better than you? And sometimes you can in certain aspects um, and it works really well. Okay. You mentioned a way to tell if you should do paid traffic for your blog or organic based on a set of criteria. Do you remember the name of this video or where the cheat sheet is? Uh, yeah, there's a cheat sheet in the Simple Sites course. Uh, it's actually a spreadsheet, uh, like calculator thing that'll show you how to do that. Um, how much can you make each month with your Simple Sites? You can make a dollar, you can make a million. I mean, it all depends. There's people doing everywhere in between. 99% of the people who come to me don't do anything with what they learn. Okay, most people don't do anything. Um, but the people that do, like I talked to a guy last week, he made a thousand bucks during uh, Black Friday off one affiliate site or something like that. Okay, I don't see a link for the website or how to get the course. Can you put that in the description below? Yes, you can go to simplesitesbonus.com, simplesitesbonus.com, or you could go to highticketniches.com. Okay, can I promote CPA offers allowing only UK or US traffic with SEO and YouTube? Yes, you can do that. Um, obviously, the CPA offers are going to pay geographically. So when I get my traffic, I try to get it as geographic as possible. But when you're doing SEO, you don't have that much control, which means you're going to get more clicks, less amount of money. But hey, it's free traffic. So, you know. OK, can I promote a CPA offer? OK, Brian says, is there an affiliate definition of terms listing anywhere? Yes, in the course, we actually have that. It's a big, huge one. And some of them are video, some of them are text. Okay, Gloria says, I'm waiting for my high-ticket niche. Excited. Awesome. Cool. And if you do want to get the um, Profit 2018, go in there, tell us, hey, I already got a niche, and we'll apply that to, uh, to your purchase. All right, so any other questions? Let me know. And I have a water around here somewhere. We'll take some questions. Again, that's profit2018.com. You can go to get info on the Profit 2018 course. But if you're looking to make this work in 2018 and you're tired of all the junk, that's what you wanna do. Um, let me show you what that form looks like so you can get in there. Okay, and if you're waiting on your niche, um, our office manager will be back on the 30th. So we'll be getting all those squared away um, and she, she does all the niches, so cool. Okay, if we already have a Simple Sites membership, do we need to get Profit 2018? Yes, it is separate. Okay, can you re recommend any outsourced VA team from Upwork? Um, yes, in the course we actually help you with outsourcing. Will Simple Sites help you find a niche? Yes, Simple Sites will absolutely help you find a niche. Um, if you wanna get Simple Sites, you would just go to Simple, sitesbonus.com and I'll see if I can get in the frame here. There we go. Simplesitesbonus.com right like this. And then you can um, fill this form out. You just put your name, last name, email. Make sure you don't use Hotmail. Hotmail is weird for some reason. Billing address, city, state, zip. Put all this info in. Choose your payment plan. It's either $297 up front or $127 over three months. And then you can get there. Um, would you recommend starting with text, then moving to audio, then video? Uh, I would recommend what your market wants, right? Like if you're in a market where you're teaching people how to fix drywall, video, or like a cheat sheet or something. Um, so you do what your market wants. Okay, and then when you go to Profit 2018, let's see, Profit 201. Eight.com, right? You're gonna go like this, 
and you can fill this form out. So if you click this, you'll get the last webinar, which basically tells you about the course, just like I did here. And then you can fill out this form and tell us why you think you'd be a good fit. Um, and then, you know, if you're ready to sign up today, we can reserve your spot. Uh, on the last webinar, we took a couple of people, uh, but we're still kind of going through it and everything. Okay, Brian says, how can we figure out how much all the costs will be in addition to running a simple site or high ticket site for budgeting? Um, all you need to do is budget for hosting uh, because like paid traffic, you only budget if it's profitable. So we don't want to do that. Um, we, we don't budget for it because if it's not profitable, we don't buy it. Okay, Biohacker says, oh wait, let's see. Nonchalant says if we buy Simple Sites course, will we still have private Skype chat? No, private Skype chat um, is only on the higher courses, but you do have live chat via our websites. Like all of our sites have this little live chat thing and you can click it and talk to me or anyone here at the office and it'll, it'll come up. It goes here to our support site when we're not online. Okay. I do have a niche I already have. How do I capitalize on that? To, do I still need Simple Sites niches? Um, you would get Simple Sites and then you'd tell me about your niche. Okay, so you would get Simple Sites and then tell me what you're doing and we'll help you with it. Okay, does Simple Sites bonus teach you how to find good offers with your niche? Yes, it does. It's very thorough in that. Okay. Okay. A bit offside question. How useful or similar similar do you think your Get Sober program is for other addictions? Um, I don't know. Yeah, I, I haven't really used them for them. Like drugs, some people use it for drugs. Um, but the main thing is alcohol. Okay, what's a good budget to start for paid traffic? It depends on your market. Say 100 clicks. So if it's 5 cents a click, do 5 bucks. You guys should be seeing results within 300 clicks. If you don't, something's wrong. Okay. All right, so profit2018.com. You can go there and sign that, um, or you could go to simplesitesbonus.com and get our main course. Again, if you do decide to get something else later, like the 2018, uh, we do give you a credit if it's within the, the month or so. Um, that way it'll help you get going from there. And let's see, other questions. We'll go about nine more minutes for questions. Are all the videos in Simple Sites working now? Some of them are being updated, some of them are not uh, being, some of them are not working, most of them are though. I already found a niche, will Simple Sites help me with Amazon affiliates? Yes, it will. Uh, have I heard of Deadbeat Affiliate, Dan? Yes, he's a good guy. From what I've seen, his stuff looks great. Little different method, but you know, his stuff's good. I don't know how he wears a robe all day. I can't do it. Maybe he doesn't live in Florida. I don't know. So he can't wear a robe all day here. Okay. Anything else? Any other questions? And again, that's profit2018.com is where you can go. Um, that course is going to teach you everything. After that, you will be able to do this. Uh, we are going to give you the skill to be able to make this work. We're going to break down everything from YouTube to buying ads to list building to affiliate offers, everything. Hi, Marcus. How do I find your Grid Tracker plugin? Uh, the Grid Tracker plugin is in Simple Sites. It is now called Smart Affiliate Ads. Okay, Christoph says, what can I expect from Simple Sites? I just started in October and spent some money on different trainings, but they all seemed outdated and everything in the trainings I could find for free on YouTube. Um, you could probably learn everything you want free on the internet. Um, it's just a matter of how you learn it, the little tidbits you learn, and the support you get, right? So you have to look at those things and say, is it worth it? Like, is it worth it to have someone uh, looking over your shoulder helping you with everything? Okay, if it is, then you're going to like it. And if you like my trainings, like if you learn something from this webinar, get one of my courses. You're going to love it. Okay, uh, Spartacus says, Marcus, you're an old school marketing legend. I have been called that. Um, makes me feel a little old. Luckily, I have my somewhat young looks, uh, but I am pushing 40, so you know. Um, Simple Sites offers niches. Yes, it does help you with that. Okay, what do we do if we got a list for a product and they don't want it? We know they want something, right? Exactly. Yeah, you got to figure out what they want. Your goal isn't to push a product down a market's throat. 
It's to naturally let them buy what they already want to buy or download or whatever. When we sign up for simple sites, will we start now or is there a schedule? You could start right now. Okay, Zobi says, why is no one talking about the fact that it's ridiculously hard to get approved for affiliate sites if you're from third world countries? Or am I missing something? Well, it depends on what country you're from. There are a few that uh, are kind of like difficult, uh, but most of the time it's not, right? If you sign up for them and you tell them that you're legitimate, um, they want to know that you're not going to go like spam the internet, right? They don't want you to do that. They want you to be a good affiliate that provides good value. And if you do that, you're going to get it accepted. All right. All right, a couple more questions and then we'll call it a day. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you did, let's do something kind of fun. Why don't you put your biggest takeaway, your biggest thing you learned in the box, and uh, that way everyone can see it and we can all learn from it. Okay, can I get a credit to start Simple Sites Big Profits? Uh, you could use a payment plan. Are adult niches good? I've never done them, um, so I don't know. I mean, obviously there's lots of money in them, but I, I don't know. Come on, man, 40 ain't old. I know it's not. I just like to make fun of myself. I don't feel old. I feel young. I do need to exercise, though. That's one of my 2018 goals. What amount of money should we budget on for the high-ticket niches for traffic and all other related costs? A um, hundred to two hundred bucks would be fair enough. Nonchalant says, awesome webinar, thanks. You're welcome. All right, Noza says, I always get an aha moment with all your videos, thank you. All right, feel free to type in whatever the aha moment was and we'll share it with everyone. When capturing your traffic, do you need a squeeze page for each affiliate link? No, you only need a squeeze page for your landing page and then you use your affiliate links in your follow-up. I primarily use phone for access. Does it work for Simple Sites? Yes. Simple Sites is completely mobile optimized. However, I would recommend getting a cheap laptop or tablet or something. They're like a hundred bucks now. I learned that this will always work because people are always searching and buying and always will. And it's worth investing time into learning and playing with. Yep, yellow. Get in Profit 2018. You'd be a great student. All right, HTML's excited. Good to have you there. Um, D says, start a list of aha moments. Yeah. Uh, what sites do we go to to find all the training when we're a high ticket member? Is affiliate, yes, affiliate marketing dude.com slash login. Okay, in profit 2018, what's the difference between that and the high ticket? I understand the more value you bring to the market, the more money you make. Um, in profit 2018, I'm taking you through everything by the hand. In high ticket niches, we just give you a niche and the training. So it's not so hands on. Okay, my biggest takeaway is that you make me feel old now. I don't feel old. You're only as old as you believe you are. Time is a made-up concept. We just all agree that it's supposed to be that way. Hey, Marcus, do you have a Squeeze pages that work in WordPress theme? I actually have a plugin called Squeeze Blogs Pro that does that for you. That's in Simple Sites Big Profits. The different methods of making money online. Assumed you had to push a product, but I was unaware of the other methods. Thank you. Now if I can learn how to get started, that would be great. Go get uh, simplesitesbonus.com, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay. Can you give a one sentence of what affiliate marketing is? Yeah, affiliate marketing is selling and driving traffic for vendors. That's all it is. Okay. Is this correct? Find people who need what I'm offering. No. Find people who need something, and then give them whatever fits it. So, yeah, that's the way to do it. My biggest takeaway is just start. Yeah, get started somewhere. If you have to get simple sites, um, great. Get it. Start now. Um, if you want to get the Profit 2018, fill out the form. Let's get started there. Um, let's make it work. And ask yourself, do you think this information, do you think learning this skill will make 2018 different for you? Right? Uh, Alvin, you'd want to check with our support so we can help you get those working. Okay, and you can always get support at pcmoneymaking.com right here. This is our support site. If you spell it right, it's faster. Uh, but you can go here and you can just put in a ticket or whatever, and um, that'll help you. Okay. A plugin is, is a software that works with your blog. 
Okay, Amazon gave me an influencer page on the website as part of their new employment or program. How do I get traffic to that? Well, first figure out if you want to get traffic to it. I mean, is it more profitable to um, get traffic on your own or whatever? You know, um, the course for affiliate profit 2018 is $3,000. HTML says it's going to be $29.97. You will get a credit if you've ordered something in the past month or so, um, and we will have a payment. Okay, the simple sites, I can pay $2.97 in one week. Uh, you would have to do that on our support site if you want a custom payment plan. Okay. All right, so any other questions, let me know. Looks like we got a lot of people on the pages there. Um, if you're going to get a high-ticket niche, get one now. That way I can get it sorted uh, before the holidays come up again. And we'll go from there. If you're getting simple sites... Go ahead and do that now as well. And remind me, put a little note, say, hey, man, you know, uh, I was on the call. This is what I said. Uh, I always like to hear from you guys, I like my YouTube family. How similar to poker is marketing, considering there's plenty of tracking software in poker? Uh, not very similar. Poker, you don't have control of a lot of things. In affiliate marketing, you have a lot of control. Like, we control everything. You control it all. That's why it's up to you to make it work, right? You control everything. Uh, D-Train says press the like button for before you go. Yeah, and make sure you subscribe, too. All right. So, cool. All right. Good to have you. Looks like HTML is going to get simple sites. All right. Go there. Get signed up. If you guys need anything else, we will be here and make it work for you. Jake says, if we have a high-ticket niche, this will help us get going with those. Should we send you a support ticket Let us in, letting us know our interest in Profit 2018? If you're interested um, for Jake... Go fill this out at Profit2018.com and just here say, you know, I'd be a good fit because of this. By the way, I also have a high-ticket niche. Okay? And I look at all these personally. Um, I'm going to try to find the time to call everyone. So if you put your number in there, I might call you. Um, I'm going to try to find the time. We'll get that going. Um, I just, my goal in Profit 2018 is to get to know you guys better and help you better. So that's kind of, I, I find it kind of fun. So cool. What did I get for Christmas? Uh, me and my wife don't really go all out for Christmas stuff. We just get ourselves stuff throughout the year. Uh, for her, we fixed up a lot of the house. And then for me, I don't, just random things. Uh, Marcus, you said the grid tracker is now smart affiliate ads. Yes. Thanks for the great session. Good to see you, Brian and Kim. Get signed up. We'll make this work for you. Uh, Gloria says her takeaway was turn unvaluable traffic to valuable. Good. You got my main takeaway. All right. So I'm going to end it now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'll show you the board again so you guys can make sure that you get all the notes in case you miss something. Um, get signed up with that, whatever you're going to go for, and uh, we'll work from there. If you live in Norway, Frank, yes, we can still help you. I have lots of people in Norway. Um, I don't know why. That's one of our popular uh, countries, but we can go from there. Um, yes, we will have installment programs if you need that. Get us on live chat. For live chat, all you have to do is you can go to any of our sites. So if you're on like simplesitesbonus.com, you can just click down here. What I'll do is I'll turn it on. It says off. But if I turn it on, right like this, and it should be instant. It'll say, hey guys, I'm on live chat. And then you'll be able to talk to me uh, right there. Really easy. So cool stuff. All right. So we're going to go ahead and wrap everything up if you guys have any questions or need anything let me know fill out the form on profit 2018 get your simple sites let's make money and let's make 2018 profitable thanks again and i'll see you in the next call and happy new year if i don't talk to you till then <laughs>